Matthew Stuckey here, and I wanted to give you another video on one of the 20 characteristics of being a psychopath according to the psychopathy checklist. And one of the characteristics is pathological lying. Pathological lying. Now, of course, we know that everybody has lied before. Um, the Bible says, let God be true, but every man a liar. But when it comes to people that are psychopaths or reprobates, it's not just that they have lied before and maybe they lie from time to time, but that lying is just part of their lifestyle. They will lie all the time to look good or to cover up things they've said. And it's not just, you know, lying from time to time. It's just part of their everyday life. And so this is what it says from the website on psychopaths in regards to pathological lying. Psychopaths tell lies to look good and get out of trouble, but they also tell lies to cover up their previous lies. They have difficulty keeping their story straight sometimes as they forget what they've said. If challenged by anyone, they simply change their story again or rework the facts to fit the situation. And so what it says about psychopaths is that they will just commonly lie to make themselves look good. Well, eventually what can happen is you can find out that what they said is not true and then they'll just tell lies to cover their previous lie. Or they'll say, well, that's not really what I meant. What I meant was actually this. And what ends up happening is that they tell so many lies that they get them all mixed up and they can't even remember all the things that they've said. When you look at famous serial killers or famous murder trials where you know, uh, many murderers are obviously going to be psychopaths. Not everyone, because, you know, you can be murder someone and not be a psychopath. But obviously that's going to be a common characteristic when you're looking at violence. And what you're going to see is that these people tell lie after lie after lie after lie. And then when the truth comes out, they just kind of change the story and think nothing of the fact that they lied. It's like, yeah, I lied. You know, what's the big deal? And so once you're actually, you know, looking at these people, you're seeing that lies are a very common part of their everyday life. And so the question is, is this biblical? And the answer to that would be, yes, it is. John 8, verse 44, Jesus says, Ye are of your father the devil, and the lust of your father ye will do. When he says they're of their father the devil, what he's indicating is that these are people that are children of the devil. What the Bible teaches is that if a, a, a young child will die that has not reached the age of accountability, they will go to heaven. But once you reach a certain age, you must be born again. Most people fit under the category of being neither a child of God or a child of the devil. However, somebody can walk through the door and become a child of God by believing on Jesus Christ, or they can walk through the door being a reprobate by you know turning on God and rebelling against God and eventually they can walk through that door and sin life at the door, like it says with Cain. And what happens when they do that is they become a child of the devil, so their father is going to be the devil. So in John 8, verse 44, he's not saying the average everyday person has their father as the devil, but these specific people are children of the devil. And what it says in that verse is, he was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of, of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. So that verse is just constantly mentioning lying, lying, lying. And what Jesus says is, you are just like your dad. You are just like your papa. You are just like your father. And the devil was a liar, and so are you. And we don't really see the devil that much in the Bible. Uh, we see him tempting Jesus in Matthew chapter 4. We see him in Genesis chapter 3. But what you're seeing is he's always lying. Now, he's telling half-truths. He's telling misleading statements. There's a shred of truth in what he's saying, and you're going to see the same thing with psychopaths. They're going to say something, and you know, it might only be 10% of a lie, but it completely changes the meaning of what they're saying, and this is something that reprobates or psychopaths do because they're just like their father, the devil. And when you look at people that are serial killers and they were on trial and defending themselves, you see that they have no problem with telling lie after lie after lie after lie and eventually the truth comes out and they just change their story or they tell another lie to cover it up and it's not a big deal to them. And so this is something that you actually do see with psychopaths. It is a biblical thing, but the Bible also says, the simple believeth every word. And so the Bible says that if you are a simple person, if you are without knowledge, if you are ignorant, you will have a tendency just to believe the things that people say. Now, I'm not suggesting that when somebody tells you something, you should assume that they're lying to you, but you also need to be realistic. You also need to not deny reality. You also need to realize that there are people that are bad people that are going to tell lies. 
Now, even normal people will tell lies from time to time, but if somebody is a bad person, they will have absolutely no problem telling a lie. And so it shouldn't be shocking if someone who is a reprobate without a conscience is gonna tell a lie, because of course they're gonna tell a lie to try to cover their tracks or get themselves out of a situation. And so this is something that is actually biblical. And what you see with people that are part of a church that end up being bad people, when you actually take a step back and look at everything they've said, you just see lie after lie after lie after lie. Misleading statements, things that don't add up, things that don't make sense. They told person A this, they told person B this, they told person C this. You say, why would they do that? Well, they do that because they're trying to be the person that you want them to be. So if they're talking to person A, they're gonna say the thing that's gonna make them look good to person A. If they're talking to person B, they're gonna say the thing that looks good to person B. Same with person C or person D or whatever. But see, eventually, all of this web of lies is going to basically contradict one another, and they're gonna to have to tell more lies to try to cover it up, or they're just gonna kinda of change their story. And so eventually, they're gonna end up getting caught in this. And so eventually, with people, you can see if you know they, they're a pathological liar, you're gonna start seeing the inconsistencies in what they say if you pay attention. One thing you wanna do though is when you start noticing people that seem to be telling half-truths and misleading statements, you should write down the things that are lies or dishonest that they say, and you know, eventually it might paint a pretty clear picture if you've got lie after lie after lie, and you can write something down, and then if they say something completely different later on, you're seeing that they're completely contradicting themselves. This does not mean for sure that they are a psychopath, but it could mean that. Now, one thing I do not wanna talk about in this video, but I'm going to uh, talk about in the next video on psychopaths, is that you know a common tactic of psychopaths, one of the 20 characteristics is manipulation. And one way they manipulate is by telling half-truths and misleading statements. So I don't wanna go into the Bible characters in this video to show you that, because that's gonna be in the next video, and I don't, I don't wanna just say the same information over and over again. But you know, lies are a method they use in, act in, in order to manipulate other people, in order to make themselves look good, in order to uh, flatter other people and things such as that. But pathological lying is a characteristic of psychopaths. And once you see these people over time, everything ends up just getting revealed and you see lie after lie after lie. As a Bible-believing Christian, realize the simple believeth every word. Not everything that you hear people say is actually true. Sometimes people are lying to you. Anyways, thank you and God bless.